Hello everyone, welcome to SFSR channel. So in this video we are going to have cover how we can deploy a Node.js application to Heroku. Heroku is one of the most easy way to deploy a Node.js application to a cloud. Uh, it's so easy that uh, it's, it's so easy you don't have to make any, any, any infrastructure. Everything is at the fingertip and you just need to make the commit and your code will be continuously deployed to a server. So we will go through an example of setting that up. So these are the steps that we have to go through in order to achieve that. First we have to take a couple of additional steps to ensure that our Node.js application is ready for deployment. We will be using the, uh, a code repository that uh, we built in one of the previous sessions in the tutorial. Uh, we will be making some enhancement to that to get it ready for deployment. Then we will create a GitHub repository and we will push all the code to the repository. And then we will go to Heroku and uh, create an application there. And then we have to link the Heroku application with your GitHub repository so that uh, whenever you make a new commit to the repository, it will be deployed to your uh, Heroku application immediately. The last step is to view the Heroku application. Let's get started. So this is one of uh, the most simple Heroku applications that you can create. So this is uh, this is a really simple Node.js application, and uh, it uses Express Framework. And uh, all it does is it takes the content from the static folder and uh, displays it as a website. So one change that we have to do in order to get it ready for deployment is to make sure that we are using uh, the environment variable called port if available. So basically what this does is when we deploy our code to Heroku, uh, our code won't be running in port 3000, instead it will be on the port that Heroku decides and it will be available as port variable here. So we'll be using process.env.port variable if it is available, if it is not like uh, when it is running in local we'll be just using the 3000 port so this is a change that we have to add uh, then in the package json usually we need to specify the engine that we want our node.js application to run on so usually it will be versions of heroku sorry it will be versions of node.js like uh, node 10.x or uh, node.js 12.x here we are using the latest version 12 point version and then finally we have to create a Heroku specific file. This is basically telling Heroku that uh, our particular application needs to be run using this command on a web dyno. We can cover the details of uh, uh, the dyno concept in Heroku uh, in a future session. But uh, for the sake of simplicity you can just think that it is a virtual container where your code will be running. So that's all you need to run your code. So the next step is to create a github repository. So here to make things faster I have just created a repository. And here you can see it's an, it's an empty repository. And I have already added this URL to my repository. So next step is to commit all my code there. So for this I will go to here and uh, that. So I have added all the commit, all, all the files. Now git commit with the basic set. This is all we are going to commit. So since I already added this uh, remote, since I already added uh, this remote URL, I can just push it. This is a command that I need to use to push the code. So at this point all our code should be pushed to the github repository so if i come here and refresh i should be able to see all my code here so here you can see all my code right and uh, this is good to deploy so the next step is to go to heroku and create a heroku app since i already have a heroku account i didn't have to register one uh, otherwise it might ask you to register direct here instead of directly taking you to dashboard so just to fill in your name email all those things and it will uh, let you complete the registration so the second step is to create an application here Kiroko application so we come here create an app so I am going to check if this name is available looks like it is available so I can just click create app 
So at this point we have a hero co app uh, that is ready to receive our code. But uh, if you click this open app, you can see it's just an empty placeholder app at this point, right? So we have to put some code here in order to make it our Heroku application. So we can either use Heroku CLI or we can just use the code that we have pushed to GitHub repository and we can take that code and automatically deploy here. For that we have to connect it with our GitHub. So basically I select the GitHub tab, then come here and click a connect to GitHub. So it's really simple. It will tell. Uh, it, it is basically ask using auth to get permission to the GitHub repository. It will be able to access my public and private repositories. But since it is Heroku, something that I trust, I can just authorize Heroku. So at this point, uh, my repository. So at this point, my uh, GitHub account is uh, linked with the, my Heroku account. So now I need to select a repository. My repository name is a service and that search bit is coming up. Yeah, so it has pulled up my repository. I'm just connecting it. So at this point, uh, at, at this point, we'll get the option to select which branch in our repository needs to be deployed to Heroku. So I have only one branch, master, and I'm selecting it and just enabling automatic deployment. So what it basically does is, it will take the, whenever I make a future commit into the repository, it will take the code from there and automatically deploy to Heroku. Now if I, if in the first time I'm not sure if it will automatically deploy because I have already committed my code to the repository, right? So we, we probably need to trigger this manually for one time. So I'm just clicking deploy branch. Yeah, so here you can see that uh, Heroku is going through my code and uh, deploying it into my Heroku instance. Awesome, looks like my application is already deployed. And I can come here and click open my app. Yeah, this is my plain old boring application. As of now, there is nothing. We'll be adding more features to this website. And I'm just demonstrating how we can deploy a Node.js application with the bare minimum to Heroku through GitHub continuous integration. So these are the steps we went through. Initially, we prepared our Node.js application for deployment. That is by adding the additional profile, by making sure that our Node.js application uses uh, the port environment variable, all these things. Then we created a GitHub repository and we pushed our port there. And then we created a app in, we created an app in Heroku and then we linked both of them so that whenever we make an additional push to the repository, it will get deployed to Heroku. And then at the end, we verified that our application uh, is running in Heroku. Just to make sure that uh, uh, our changes are getting deployed properly, we can probably add one more line to our static HTML code. Welcome to the website. So we can So we, we can probably add a line that this website is continuously getting deployed uh, through GitHub CI. So I just uh, need to make a commit. So if I do git to diff, I can see that uh, this git has to miss this difference. So my step is to So now I need to push it. Once I have pushed my code changes, if I go to Heroku, I should be able to, it, it takes some time to deploy, but uh, if I go to more and uh, view logs, I sh Heroku should uh, detect this change anytime and I should start rebuilding the application. Yeah, so here again, here, right? Heroku has already started uh, the build detecting the change. 
so and it has already up looks like it's already reset the application so now if we go to our application and refresh you can see that the new message is already available here so now we have a fully working node.js application that is getting continuously deployed to heroku so if whenever i make an additional change we should be able to see that this change is automatically getting deployed to heroku uh, th that's all i have for this session uh, so we'll be enhancing our website further in future sessions stay subscribed for uh, more exciting lessons in the future thank you